dose it because it could just be Maybe there is just a kid who's out there overexerting herself a little bit. So but t tell us about the diagnosis. So the diagnosis of asthma does take time. It's not a one-time illness right. diagnosis. It's over a period of time. And as I said earlier, um, the other name for asthma that we use in, in healthcare is reactive airway disease. So when you have a child that, you know, starting at around six or seven months, has their first episode of this what we call reactive airway disease, they get better, they either have a respiratory infection or something's going on in the house, maybe construction, they get sick. And then they have another episode maybe three months from then. And then maybe when they're two, and then maybe when they're four. So over time, um, when you've had repeated exacerbations of this reactive airway condition, it's when someone will finally coin the child as having asthma. Um, you know, you can have adult onset asthma, you can have a asthma onset later in childhood, but it, you don't diagnose someone based on one um, episode. We are seeing in this country increased levels of a lot of conditions. Asthma is one of them, mm -hmm. to where I believe it's first symptoms by age five. What do the studies tell us and what are you seeing that would lead you to believe why we're seeing asthma, increased asthma in kids? You know, I think our environment plays a lot um, in the role of asthma. We have, you know, a lot of asthma symptoms can be based on allergies and inflammation. So we have um, living situations that children live in, maybe with a lot of dust. Dust mites are a very, very big um, contributing factor to asthma. So dust, um, we live in Florida. We have a lot of things blooming all year round. So things that are blooming can cause the, these allergic reactions and cause inflammation in the airways. Um, like you said, exposure to smoke, uh, people who burn candles or incense in their home. All of these things are, are exacerbating factors to providing uh, inflammation to the airway.